Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about how you can use a scale factor to find the missing values on a diagram that or problem involving scale drawings. So remember, we talked about the last video that every time that the picture is getting bigger, so let's say, for example, in this case, you're going from B to A, that you expect the scale factor to be bigger than one because you're zooming in. So you get the zoom is usually times something, right? So you're multiplying the image. So that means it's gonna be bigger than one. But if you were trying to go the other way, then you are shrinking the image. And so your scale factor is gonna be smaller than one because it's kind of like you're dividing the picture. So you have to multiply by a fraction or a decimal that's smaller than one. We also talked about that to find the scale factor, all you have to do is get the destination and divide by the origin. So in this example over here, same as last video, if I'm going from B to A, a destination is four divided by two, we talked about in this last video, means my scale factor would be times two to go this way. But if I was trying to go the other way, right? So I had to go this way, then I would have to do two divided by four, which would give me half as my scale factor. Once I have scale factors, how can I use them to actually figure out what the actual missing values are. For example, in this drawing, I don't know what X is or what Y is. Do remember that you always work with match sides. When I was trying to figure out the scale, I used the four and the two because they are sides which are in the same match position of the diagram, which is why it's the first skill that I reviewed with you on the video series. So when I try to find the X, I have to work with it based on the seven because the seven is matched to it. So if I'm trying to figure out what the X is, I have to work with a seven. And then I can use the scale and go in the same direction. Well, every if I already figured out that the scale to go down this diagram is half, all I have to do is to multiply that seven by that scale. So to go from seven to the X, I have to multiply by half. Half because I'm shrinking, smaller than one. And because it's the scale I figured out when I was going that way using the numbers that I knew. So you use the numbers that you know to figure out the scale in the direction that you need to go. And then you use the same scale to figure out the mystery number. So 7 times half is just half of 7, which would be 3.5. And now you can see me doing that here, right? But what if I was trying to go the other way? Like, for example, when I have to go from 5 over here to the y, right? Well, I already know that to go from B to A, I have to multiply times 2. So that means instead of 5, this picture would probably be what? A 10, because 5 times 2 is 10. That's all there is to it. Basically, you find a scale factor using one of the sides that you do have, a pairing that you do have of matching sides. If I want to go up and grow, I'm expecting the number to be bigger than 1. And I'm going to use the destination divided by the origin, get my scale, and then use the same scale in the same direction to find the other side. And vice versa if I'm shrinking. We'll do more examples of this later in the, in the series, but that's all there is to it to try to figure out the mystery sites. There is another way of doing this, though, but I'll show you that on the next video.